In the prior lectures, we took a look at finding the current working directory. What is that? We took a look at listing all of the files and directories that you have in a directory. Well, here, we're going to take a look at changing your current working directory. Take a look. So I'm back inside the Python shell. I've now imported the OS module. Now we saw that that OS module has several functions that you can play around with and start to incorporate within your projects. Here's another one. This is the change directory function. So I am gonna bring in OS. We're gonna say uh, CH. And you know what? Actually, even before that, let's do this. Let's say I wanna print out the current working directory. So I'll use the git CWD, close my parentheses, all right, and just a note, we're currently in users, my directory, app table, lo local, program, so on and so on and so on. So now let's take a look at how you can change that directory. So here I'm going to bring back in OS. And one of the functions that we can utilize here is chdir, change directory. Now I'm going to open up a parentheses here. And unlike the ones that we've used up to this point, the functions that are part of the OS module, this one is asking for some information. It needs to know, well, which directory do you want to change to? Well, I'm going to put this out on my desktop. So I need my path. There we go. So I am going to say uh, users, Kyle P, desktop. Now I do want to note here that as I'm typing this in, normally you look at your your folder structure inside of your operating system, and we see backslashes. Uh, C colon backslash, blah, backslash, blah, backslash, and so on. Here, I am using forward slashes. Uh, we don't want to use the backslashes. Those are escape char characters within a string, so we're going to use forward slashes here. So I've got the directory that I want to change to. I'm going to hit my Enter key. All right, now nothing displayed on my screen, but no error, that's good. So it went through successfully. I've now changed the current working directory to this path. Now just to, to demonstrate and display that, let's go ahead and print out os.gitcwd, the current working directory, and let's go ahead and run that code. So prior, I ran that one earlier, right? We were sitting in the default folder for Python, but now that I've changed that directory, we are now sitting there on my desktop. And let's see, let's print out the OS list dir, and let's just see what's on the desktop. Got a few things out there. I got, got the Anaconda ex executable. I got the Python executable out there and a few other things as well. So there you have it. This is utilizing the change directory function built into the OS module and just how quickly we can get in there and we can change what our current working directory is. And then once we're there, we can start to work with that directory. We can find files that are in there, we can create files, we can create folders, all utilizing the OS module built into Python.